Kevin, are we getting any more uh, details or clarity of what's going to happen here? Hey, Sherry, I'm here inside the Senate where President Trump is actually going to be meeting with Republican senators at their weekly caucus lunch from the White House. He's traveling across town to arrive here in what was supposed to be a discussion on tax reform, on touting an ability to get tax reform done by the end of the year as they had hoped. But quite frankly, all talk here on Capitol Hill has turned between the Twitter feud that has gone public between Senator Bob Corker, a Republican from Tennessee, and President Trump. They will come face to face in this behind closed doors just around the hallway behind me where they will be meeting in that lunch. And quite frankly, that is what everybody here on Capitol Hill is talking about. And Kevin, what are they saying about it? I mean, yeah. it, uh, certainly even before this current feud between these two erupted, there have been prior feuds that have hampered the legislative ability of uh, the GOP. Is this just seen as another obstacle to getting things done? Julie, it's a great point that you're making because, yes, I've spoken with several senior aides to Republican members and caught a few of them in the hallways, and they're befuddled, they're confused, and they're frustrated that, once again, what should have been a coherent messaging coming from the White House as well as the Republican Party about lowering taxes has now been clouded in controversy as a result of this Twitter back and forth. Now, that said, sifting through a lot of the political theater and dramatics of all of this, we haven't noticed much reaction in the political volatility index. Also, we should know that the House of Representatives is likely going to vote on Thursday to advance the budget bill that was voted on in the Senate last week. And of course, Politico and other sources now confirming that the House of Representatives is going to release that tax plan by November 1st. So they're keeping on message and on deadline with how they're going to get this tax plan done. The market's very much paying careful attention to that, but it's still unknown how they're going to pay for it beyond the state and local tax deduction, which would only allow $1.3 trillion as a source of revenue. Now, President Trump saying just there at the White House that there would be about $4 trillion in growth as a result of this tax plan. That still comes up a little bit short of what many tax experts are saying is a $6 trillion plan. So as they are going to go for how to pay for it really is now where all of the financial services industry is focusing on with the tax writing committees. Kevin, and of course, given uh, the uncertain situation right now, what are the options for the GOP if they cannot find a revenue raisers? Would they mean temporary tax cuts, phasing in these tax cuts? Yeah, great, great point. Uh, temporary tax cuts is where this fight would be headed should they not be able to have what they're going to be able to do in order to pay for it. Now, quietly behind the scenes, many of the sources that I'm talking to are suggesting that this might have to spill over into the next calendar year, but that would be to the much disappointment of Republicans who are eager to return home to constituents during the holiday recess to tout some type of political victory that has eluded them and eclipsed them for much of this year. Um, Kevin, when we're talking about this, uh, the Corker uh, Trump situation here, uh, the, the dispute, <laughs> the situation, <laughs> the situation uh, yes. between the two, um, I, I wonder if um, some of uh, Senator Corker's GOP peers are also faulting him for sort of drawing the president into this. I mean, is there a, a feeling of can we all just get along? Or I, I'm just kind of curious how it's being viewed. You know, House Speaker Paul Ryan speaking at a press conference earlier today, Julie, in which he said that, you know, they're trying to focus on tax reform. Uh, we just had uh, crossing the, the terminal now headlines from Senator John Cornyn of Texas, a Republican, saying they got to talk this out. Look, no one likes to see uh, this type of, of fighting happening, if you're, at least from the Republican perspective, uh, because it really does, again, what should have been an on messaging easy day for them at this meeting on tax reform, of lowering taxes, lowering the corporate tax tax rate has now been dominated by this disagreement. We should note that the disagreement stems from foreign policy. And Senator Corker, of course, with his position in the various committees on foreign policy as chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee, having a staunch disagreement with how President Trump has responded to Russia, as well as to North Korea to some extent, he is still defending the team of folks surrounding <laughs> the president. So that is equally as interesting. But again, I, I think if you're Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, what should have been an opportunity for Republicans to really claim unity is now all about a Twitter debacle.